And I turned down, all right. And I turned down, all right. And if you want to talk about fatherless, I could tell you that too. My daddy in prison right now for devil murder doing life. Nigga been locked up since I was nine. You want to talk about that? Give you advice on that shit too. How every other year it's fuck him and then I love him. Fuck him, then I love him. How I'm tripping and I want to drive up to the prison because then they call me on both of my son's birthday. You know what I'm saying? How I'm trying to force a fucking relationship when all reality I'm 34. This nigga been gone since I was nine. Nigga, I don't know this motherfucker. I'm only keeping contacts and keeping close with this nigga because that's my dad. I don't know this nigga. You, I'm too grown for me to build a relationship with another nigga through a phone. And when I'm nine years old, I'm too young for me to build a relationship with another nigga through a phone. Yeah, two murders. That nigga crazy, bro. That nigga, he ain't got... This nigga, the two of them. Yeah. Smoked the nigga at a party. My mama was cheating on him. Then he killed my mama's boyfriend. In front of my mama. At my auntie house. And my auntie, the messy one, because she called him over there like, Oh, yeah, Leanne over here. Nah, 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 nah. And no female would never get me like that, bro. And no female would never get me. I love my mama to death. She would have never. I, that, that nigga's nigga stupid. stupid. That, that nigga's nigga crazy, crazy than a motherfucker, motherfucker, bro. bro. That, that nigga crazy, crazy as shit, shit man. And don't, don't want to come, come home. home. Nigga said, I already been here 27 years. I don't know what I'm a. What's the use of? How the fuck you 56? Him and my mama the same age. This nigga 56 still going to the hole for fights. This nigga 56 year old. I'm still getting emails. Auntie getting calls for the pit. Yeah. Um, Darrell is alright. We just letting you guys know you're not going to hear from him for five months because it's going to be a solitary confinement. This nigga goes to the hole. More than he just out in general population. <coughs> 56, bro. Tired of telling my kids about their grandpa. Talk to them. That shit be hurtful sometimes, nigga. I get on the internet like I'm cool, but I don't work. At Walmart stocking room no more though, bro. I don't. This internet YouTube shit take heart for the simple fact when I go through shit, I can go downstairs, get to the stocking room, unload the truck, with my feelings all in my shit. But now when I'm going through shit and my mama passed or anything happened, I gotta get back on the internet like this and talk to you motherfuckers. Why? Cause this is my job now. It's no different from when y'all have a family member that passed. Y'all finna have whatever the fuck. Yeah, you had a baby today. My nigga, you got a dare to to get there and love your baby. After that, get your ass back to work. Your daddy died. Your boyfriend died. We can give you leave. But after two or three weeks, get your ass back to work. Only different with this shit is I can't show y'all nothing. I'll be on camera. And fuck that. I'm lying. How many times y'all see me cross since my mama died? Go watch the NBA Youngboy video. I told y'all when the video just started, my bad. I just got through for crying 20 minutes ago. I hate my mama for that shit. I do, bro, because she died out of no fucking wear. And now every fucking morning when I get up, I cry for no fucking reason. Feeling like a bitch. I, I hate her for that shit. I do. She left for no fucking reason. She wasn't sick or none of that shit, bro. And that's why I be telling the homies, I tell y'all, to everybody that got y'all mom, I feel so sorry for you niggas, man, I do. Because y'all gonna have to go through what I went through, and that shit is a fucked up feeling, bro. That shit is a fucked up feeling, nigga. Ever since you were a kid, since, you, since the first time you find about death, you ain't worried about losing your dog. You ain't worried about losing your fucking... PlayStation, bro. When you first find about death, you just hope your mama don't die, bro. That's most people's biggest fear. The dad, too. I'm not trying to single them out, but the mama, bro. That's niggas' biggest fear. I hate that shit. Mad at my kids because they keep asking me. I hate that shit, bro.
fuck life. It don't matter. It don't matter what it is. Like I tell y'all, man. I don't look. I don't knock nobody that commits suicide. Life weighs a lot on people. Overnight, I went from having two kids to having four. Now I got my 15 year old brother and my 11 year old nephew because they was living with my mama before she passed. Like I said, she wasn't sick. Wasn't nothing. It just February 6, 2022, at 1:12 p.m., she died for no fucking reason from a heart attack, bro. For no fucking reason from a heart attack, bro. So now the next day, I automatically got two kids. And the bread went out of the family. Automatically got two more kids. Now I got four. When people kill themselves, bro, I don't call them weak or none of that. I just say I couldn't do this shit. But I understand why they do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I do. Life weighs heavy on a lot of niggas. Christmas coming around, nigga. I can't shop for my mom. I mean, like, none of that shit, bro. I looked at my Christmas tree the other day and cried for the simple fact it's like, whoa. Like, I did this shit again. I've been doing Christmas for the last five years, bro. For the last five years. Yeah, I'm a grown man, but the last five years is when I got on my feet. You know what I'm saying? So, 